Hi everyone, hope you're doing amazing today. We're doing really well, thank you. My name is Carolina Fonseca Jimenez. I focus on doing children's books that promote love, unity, and peace, and we interpret dreams here. The reason that we interpret our dreams is because we understand that when we listen to our dreams, we are really speaking with our subconscious, and also we share them. The reason that we share our dreams is because we know that when we share them, we're connecting with one another on a more profound level. So guys, this week we're gonna talk about two different things. The first thing is we're going to talk about what it means when we dream about someone that has passed away already. We've done a small video on this before, but I needed to touch on some topics uh, in addition to this because a lot of you this week, what you've been sending is that you've been dreaming of people that have passed away. So let's talk a little bit about that first. The second thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about what it means when we dream about our loved ones going through a difficult time or a difficult situation, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, whenever we're dreaming about someone that's passed away, some of you that have sent in your dreams, you're telling me, this is weird, freaks me out, makes me a little scared, right? So it's, it's normal though. It's normal to have dreams of people that have passed away. The reason that it's normal is because they still mean something in our lives. Just because they're not physically here doesn't mean that they don't have an impact on us, right? We still have their beautiful memories. We still have their beautiful energy here. So a lot of the time when you're dreaming of someone that has passed away, it's them just letting you know that their energy continues, right? The physical body, it gets, it gets, to be part of the earth, right? The physical body gets to be part of this earth, but the spirit and the energy, the loving energy that you are, that continues, that continues in this world. So when you dream of someone that's passed away, they're simply letting you know, I'm still here, I'm still protecting you, my energy continues and I'm with you. So it's a beautiful dream to have. Now, one of you has said that um, when you're dreaming about someone in particular that's passed away, this person passed away when they were 40, but you dream about them when they're about 10 or 11 years old and you're like, why am I dreaming about this person at such a young age? So guys, these are very, very cool connections and very, very cool dreams because when this happens, this is simply letting you know that there's something that you can learn from them at that particular age, okay? Think about it. If you dream about someone at the age when they passed away, you would be thinking about how they lived their life at that time, what message they're trying to give you at that point in their, in their life, right? But since you're dreaming about someone when they're 10 or 11 years old, even though they passed away at 40 years old, let's focus on how they live their lives at that age. What did you used to do with them uh, whenever they were that age? What was your interaction with them? Because your message, the key to your message is in that, okay? So really it's beautiful because it allows you to go back in time and think about, okay, what was it that we did together at this time? What was it that they would say to me? What, was, what were some of their encouraging words to me? Whatever that is, that is the key to interpreting what they're trying to tell you. Because guys, like we've talked about before, the dream world is incredibly uh, immense, right? It's huge, it's profound. In your dreams, you can access information that was in your past, you can access things in your present. Those are the ones that we can reflect outward and interpret into our daily lives. Then there are those dreams that can even be kind of premonition dreams of the future that a lot of you have sent in, right? So this, this dream world is incredibly immense. And like we've talked about before, there are different dimensions within the dream world, the dimensions above and the dimensions below. What happens in these dimensions is that you're able to access information that you don't see in this waking world, right? The world of your dreams, the world of the subconscious, it's completely immense down there. So whenever you're dreaming of someone that has already passed away, Take that with neutral energy, have love with it, and just know that they're letting you know that their energy continues and that they are here still with you. Okay, so congratulations on having those dreams. Those are some of the best dreams. Now, some of you are having dreams of people that are in your life currently, right? But you're seeing them in trouble. You're seeing them in various problems and you're worried about them. You wake up feeling worried. So guys, whenever you have dreams like this, just remember, just remember that you are in a state of love. Okay, even if you wake up feeling a little bit nervous, feeling a little bit anxious, remind yourself that you are pure love. Your energy, the basis of your energy is in love. So stay calm and stay neutral and just know that the message that is being given to you at that point is for you to be ready to help them, okay? A lot of the time, uh, when we have these kinds of dreams, we're tempted, we're so tempted to go up to that person and be like, I had a dream about you and you looked very bad. You looked like you were going through some stuff. I'm worried about you, da da da. Okay, guys, we never want to spread fear. We don't want to spread insecurity. We want to spread love. Okay, so that message is directly to you. And that message is just letting you know, be prepared. Be prepared because this person may be going through a tough time or there may be tough times coming for that person because that is what your subconscious is picking up. But it's for you to be prepared to help them and to play a supportive role. But remember guys, 
We can't help and we can't support people if we are not okay. So that's why it's always so important to practice being in love, being in unity, and being at peace with yourself. This is something that I practice every day, guys. Every single day, I make sure that I am at peace with myself, that I am in love with myself, and that I am in unity with all of myself. And the reason that I do that is because if I have that within me, then that's what I can share. That's what I can share with you. But if I don't have that, I can't share that with you, right? So then it would be pointless for me to make any of these videos or for me to reach out to any of you because I would have no, uh, no loving energy to share with you. So that's why it's so critical that we practice this every single day because when you're dreaming of someone that is, that is going through a tough time that you're worried about, that you're concerned about, it is your job to be in a state of love, unity, and peace so that way you're there to help them and to support them through their troubles, okay? So take that as a wonderful message too because that means that you've got a lot of wonderful work to do and you've got a lot of wonderful love to share with those people. So congratulations for having that dream too. But guys, one thing that I want to talk about too is whenever we're having any kind of dream, whenever we're able to remember it, the first thing we want to do is just give thanks. Give thanks to the universe that you were able to have an open heart and have an open mind to receive these kinds of messages from your subconscious, from the universe, because remember, we are all connected in this universe. When you go to sleep, that connection doesn't end. That energy continues and that connection continues. So give thanks for being able to access that information, okay? That's the first thing. And then the second thing we wanna do is to have love and neutrality on our side because when we are able to interpret a dream with love, with pure love and keeping our emotions neutral, we're able to um, really absorb more of that information and understand what that dream is trying to tell us, okay? So let's practice those things this week. And one quick practice I wanna do with you here while we're together, while we're in this kind of um, team gathering here, you over there, me over here, let's give thanks, okay? Let's give thanks because the more that we give thanks, the more that wonderful things keep coming to us. And the reason that happens is because you give thanks for the things that you already have, more come to you so you can keep giving things. It's kind of like you're recycling here, okay? So one practice that I used to do is I used to write down, I used to make a list of things that I was thankful for, right? I used to make a list, but then I found out that my lists were really, really long. So what I do now is I take it as part of my, um, just my daily exercise, right? I'll share it with you right now. I simply close my eyes, and I start giving thanks for anything that comes to me. So I wanna give thanks today for the air that I'm breathing. I wanna give thanks today because I'm able to breathe. I wanna give thanks because I can see. I am thankful for being able to see. I am thankful for being able to feel all of the emotions that I feel. I'm thankful for being out here in this wonderful nature, wonderful earth, being surrounded by all of these wonderful little plants and stuff. And even guys, give thanks for the little stuff, like very little things. Like this morning, I had a really great cup of coffee, so I'm very thankful for that cup of coffee. Give thanks for all of those things. The more that you give thanks, I'm telling you, you, you just have a, a spirit of thankfulness, a spirit of gratitude, and really that's just telling the universe, I'm thankful, so keep it coming, right? Keep it coming. And the more that you give thanks, the more that keeps coming to you so that you keep practicing giving thanks to this universe. There is so much to be thankful for. And guys, also remember, not everybody in this world can give thanks for the things that you can give thanks to. We are all individual and we are all special and we are all in our own life process. Some people out there cannot give thanks for the things that we have. So because you have what you have, give thanks for that. Give thanks for all the things that you have. And this also means that the people that um, we see as having less, they still have things to give thanks for. We all have something to be thankful for, right? But the more that we practice it, the more that we're encouraging that energy in this world. So guys, this week, let's keep on listening to our dreams. Remember, when you dream of someone that um, is already passed away, just take that as a loving message that their energy continues, their energy is still with you and they are still guiding you. Whenever you dream of someone that is still alive in this world with you, but you see them in trouble, remember that this is a message for you, a message for you to be ready to support them with your loving energy. And remember guys, we cannot share what we don't have. So every single day, let's practice giving thanks and let's be in love and unity and peace with ourselves so that way we can reflect that to the world. Guys, I send you that this week. Love, unity, and peace, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.